When we wish to convey different degrees of meaning in English, we tend to use adjectives like pretty or gorgeous, adverbs like really, very, or so, and vocal inflection, making our voice go up and down. In ASL, there are multiple ways to inflect your signing. If you do not use inflection in your signing, it's like listening to someone speak in monotone. For this assignment, you will focus on portraying the emotion and or the degree you see on the picture in the gifts in your signing. You will practice inflecting simple sentences for this assignment, but note that you will inflect all sentence types as well as incorporate the sentence structure specific non-manuals when signing. What you practice for this assignment should be applied to all of your signing going forward. There are multiple elements that will help you inflect your signing. We will look at non-manuals, size, posture, head position, speed, strength, and signing with both hands. Non-manuals are all about your facial expressions, including widening or narrowing your eyes. For example, if you're signing about being sad, frown. If you're signing about being happy, look happy. More than that, you can show to what degree. Here's what I mean. I can be happy to a slight degree, happy to a medium degree, or ecstatically happy. And all this can be seen from only my face. Size is the second way that you can inflect your signing. For instance, someone who is sad or doesn't care or is unhappy with the outcome might sign okay. Versus someone who is very agreeable or happy about what they are being asked to do might sign okay. Posture also greatly influences the meaning of your signing. You can change the posture from leaning forward in anticipation or leaning back in disgust to slumping your shoulders, to standing tall and confident. Head position can include hanging your head in shame or in submission to what you must do, can be held back or held to the side in doubt, can be held forward in disagreement. You can also include nodding or shaking your head, which can be changed depending on how fast or slow. How many times? And how large of a movement? As well as the speed. Just like inflecting a sign. Speed is another element of inflection that often shows reluctance, willingness, or level of emotion. If I don't really want to agree to something, I might sign, all right. If I'm excited or angry, I will sign the sign faster, but the actual emotion will be displayed on my face. If I'm excited to a small degree, I would sign. If I'm angry to a small degree, I would sign. But if I'm really excited, I would sign or if I'm really angry, I would sign. The strength or rigidity I display versus the softness I use when signing also varies the meaning. If someone is talking very quietly or having a very heartfelt, intimate conversation, they might speak softer or sign softer. If they are angry or extremely passionate about something, they will sign more strongly. So using the sign yes, yes, or a very strong and rigid yes. Lastly, signing with both hands can also inflect your signing. This does not apply to all signs, but it is a way to inflect signing nonetheless. Signs like yes, no, okay, or happy can all be signed with two hands for extra emphasis. For example, yes. No. Okay. Happy. Let me give you some more examples using the English sentence, I eat salad. The signs are me, pointing to yourself, eat, like you're putting food in your mouth, and salad, like you're tossing a salad. First, I will inflect the sentence like Carl Fredrickson from Upwood.
Now I will inflect the sentence like Russell from Up is signing it. You can see that all of the elements we've discussed can be used to inflect a sentence to show how you feel about it. Here's one more example. Let me show you two pictures. For this first picture, you can see that it's a bright, sunny day. When describing the level of brightness, I would sign bright, bright. For this second picture, I would sign In this assignment, you will focus on portraying the emotion you see and hear in your signing. First, I'll teach you the vocabulary, then you will use the vocabulary to inflect simple sentences. Beach. Think of it like the waves are crashing over the shore. Beach. Beach. Drink. So you're holding a cup and then tipping it towards your face. Drink, drink. The word forgive, forgive. Going forward twice. Forgive, forgive. Go. Your dominant hand starts closest to your body, your non-dominant hand farther away, and goes forward. Me, pointing to yourself. Please. So your dominant hand moving in a circle on your chest should not be floating out in neutral space. It should be on your chest, please. Pretty. So for this one, you're starting with an open hand going to a closed hand. Pretty. Now this one can be inflected and is often changed to include beautiful or gorgeous. So it goes here and then opens again to add to the inflection along with your facial expressions. The word sorry, sorry, sorry. Water, a W, tapping here on your face. Water, water. And the sign work, 